In this video, I explain you the difference between weight sump and dry sump lubrication system. So, in the last video, we studied the various type of the system lubrication system. I mean, this video we go through the difference between weight and dry sumps. So, on this left side, it is a weight sump lubrication system. On the right side, we written the point of dry lubrication system. In a weight sump, oil from the crankcase is directly supplied to the engine components that we later on understand by using the image and what are the reasons for that. In a dry sump lubrication system, oil from the crankcase is first pumped to the separate oil tank and this separate oil tank is outside the engine cylinder and then supplied to the engine component after passing through the oil cooler. So here you see this is the image, here the this is the crankcase. And the oil from the crankcase is directly supplied to the various component like as the bearing. But in a dry sump lubrication system, here it is an engine crankcase. First the oil is supplied to this separate tank or a supply tank and it is outside the engine. Then after oil from the supply tank is supplied to the various component of the engine like as two bearing by passing through this oil cooler. Next difference is that in a weight sump lubrication system, oil pressure is in the range of 1 to 4 bar and in a dry sump lubrication oil pressure in the range of 3 to 8 bar. Before moving ahead, I request you to like the video and subscribe the channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and also visit the playlist for watching the vi video of mechanical engineering. Next, next difference is in a wet sump lubrication system no oil cooler is used. In a dry sump lubrication system oil cooler is located in the front of radiator hence oil keep cool because of air flow in the part of the radiator so here i show you this figure of the weight sum here no oil cooler is used okay in a dry sump lubrication system here you see this is the air coolers and the oil is cooled by using the air so it is also called as the radiators and from this air cooler the air is passed that's why the temperature of the oil is reduced then after it is supplied it to the various component where the cooling is required Next component, temperature rise of lubricating oil is greater than the dry sump system since no oil cooler is used. In the last point, we understand that the no oil cooler is used. So, no oil cooler is used means temperature of the oil is not reduced, means temperature of the oil is higher than the dry sump lubrication system. In a dry sump lubrication system, we use the oil cooler. So, temperature rise of the lubricating oil is less than the weight sump system, hence, Permit the use of thinner oil compared to the weight sum system. So, this due to oil cooler temperature is reduced and the oil is more thinner. Next point more fric frictional resistance due to thick oil. And in a dry sum system, less frictional resistance due to thinner oil compared to the weight sum system. Next point is the system requires less power compared to the dry sum system. Why it requires the less power? Because in this system only one pump is used. In a dry sum lubrication system, system requires more power compared to the weight sum system. So here we see this image. In a weight sum system, we see this is a only one pump is used. Okay. In a dry sum system, there is a two pump is used. One is the scavenging pump and another is the oil pump. So by default, there is a more component and it's produce uh, it's absorb the more power. And last point is the weight sum lubrication system used for low and moderate capacity of the engine and the dry sump is used for a larger capacity of the engine. So thank you for watching this video. If you learned then like the video, subscribe the channels, comment on the video and share with your friend.